from Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader. This is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Wendy Ryan. Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, here are your top stories at this hour. The Minneapolis jury finding former police officer Derek Chauvin guilty of second degree murder, third degree murder and second degree manslaughter. The defense had argued the use of force was appropriate when Chauvin was kneeling on George Floyd's neck last May. But the prosecution placing the blame squarely on the former officer. Chauvin was taken into custody and Ben Crump, the attorney for the Floyd family, saying this is a turning point in history and sends a clear message on the need for accountability of law enforcement. Polk County just moved away from its online portal and people can now get the shot at Lakeland Regional Health. The county is using walk up clinics once a week. No appointments are necessary. However, health officials tell us Polk County is lagging in vaccinations with only 18% of people being fully vaccinated. A former Pasco County Sheriff's Office canine is finding a new purpose after beating cancer. Jojo was diagnosed at the beginning of this year and medically retired from narcotics detection. But after getting treatment at the University of Florida's Veterinary Hospital, he's now cancer free. And now he's working as a therapy dog, helping people who are dealing with mental health issues or just need some stress relief. The Firestone Grand Prix returns to downtown St. Pete this weekend. The St. Pete Downtown Partnership says there will be a free shuttle to the waterfront racetrack and buses and trolleys will pick up people from Tropicana Field. And now here's Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips with your forecast. Dennis. How you doing, everybody? Skies are mostly cloudy, but after another rainy day across the area, the heavier rains are just about over. I still think we will see maybe a few scattered showers in Sarasota County on Wednesday morning, but otherwise I think we see clearing from north to south. And as we head on into the afternoon, we've got a beautiful stretch of weather later Wednesday, Thursday and into Friday. So for the opening of the Florida State Fair, the weather looks amazing. Now, the Firestone Grand Prix, that's another story. Saturday does look good, but I do think there is a chance of some showers rolling in on Sunday. But temperatures will stay very pleasant over the next few days. Back up a little bit above average. We should stay in the low to mid 80s through the period. There's Florida's most accurate seven day forecast. Could see a few showers first thing in the morning in our southern counties. Otherwise, a lot of sunshine. Thursday looks great for the fair. So does Friday. Saturday looks good, too, but I think there's a chance of showers returning on Sunday.